Howdy, howdy. Welcome back to the Seattle Kraken franchise. In the last video, we finished our offseason, a very long video, and I'm sorry for that. Uh, but we did finish our offseason, but we had a couple of loose strings we needed to tie up. And I'm going to start this video by tying up that loose string, and that is Connor Ingram needs to get gone if I can find a suitor for him. And I really honestly am not particular about what I get for him. Uh, so I will trade with the Rangers for a seventh round pick. Uh, I'm going to be starting Sogard and Rodriguez are going to be the 1-2. It's going to be 1A-1B, uh, just like it normally is in the regular season anyway. Uh, so these guys are basically battling. They're both listed as minor league backups. So I'm hoping one of them grows into the starter's role eventually. Rodriguez is 23. Sogard is 22. So we've got two goalies that might actually make the jump for us. That is nice to see. Um, to take a look-see real quick, Actually, let's back out of this. I'm going to look at our progress reports, if it shows me that stuff. Um, let's go in the system. And I think everybody's going to be reset, aren't they? Yep, everybody's reset. Well, poopy snickles. All right. So I will show you, though, some through contracts, I'll show you some guys that we I'm glad about. Uh, we had some growth over the offseason. Uh now, let, these guys didn't grow, but uh, let's see. Kyra, Darlene grew a little bit. He went from a 74 to a 76. He has not lost his top six potential yet, but I kind of anticipate that's going to happen sooner rather than later. But a guy who could potentially play in the AHL for us, he's got a good hard shot, decent accuracy, uh, good at faceoffs now at 76. So a guy that maybe could be an AHL bottom, bottom end, bottom six forward for us even though he's listed as a top six potential he might not reach that unless he just has a severe jump this season Rotti made a jump to 76 overall i like that a lot he will be a second line center for us in the nhl because our coaches match up perfectly and this is the line chemistry he will have in the nhl so he will eventually eventually take the place of anthony sorelli his face-offs are god awful though i wish i could get better on that uh burns didn't get much of a jump. Ho didn't get much of a jump. Kruger didn't get much of a jump. Uh, let's take a look at left wingers. Uh, Grachev took a jump to 77 overall, so that's good to see. His passing and puck control are really nice now. A guy who I kind of made the comparison to Vinny Hinostroza, which I can show you real quick as far as his line chemistry goes. I feel like it's pretty close to Vinny Hinostroza, so a guy who could play basically top nine for us. Uh, maybe even all four lines, really, depending on where the need was, because he did have some some okay on the fourth line. So a guy that could be at least a first or third liner for us, that's good to have, and he's a really good passer at this point of his career. Hopefully he keeps getting better. Olsen got up to a 72. He was in the high 60s. Kaminsky got up a little bit. He was a 65. Uh, Olin's moving a little bit. So we got some guys that are making some progress. Uh, Zybeck is a guy we traded for in that uh, – long offseason video uh, guy we traded I believe that was in the trade for actually Shane Gothisphere maybe I think that was the Shane Gothisphere trade uh, but this is a guy who will only get better he's 21 years old has a hell of shot and the main reason I picked him up was the fact that he shot 247 times and scored 34 goals last year for the AHL squad so I'm hoping that streak continues I feel like this is kind of a sniper in a two way forwards body and that's a nice thing to have discipline 99 doesn't know slouch either so decent speed decent defensively can get better hopefully so that's the kind of thought process i have around picking him up and playing him defensively peak is still a minor top two defenseman saria harvey is listed as a top six defenseman at 79 overall wow okay i did not look at that before the last video ended so that is something uh that I may have to try and rectify two-way defender or I may just have to leave him down here in the AHL because I've got no room for him up here depth defenseman for Jet Wu that's fine he can stay down here in the AHL uh Allard's probably topped out Fairbrother's probably topped out but they Fairbrother still has some years left to grow uh and then you see the rest of our lot down here and then goalies Rodrigue jumped finally Sogard made a little jump, but Rodrigue jumped from a 74 to a 78, so he's finally starting to kind of realize that potential a little bit. Hopefully, he continues that movement upwards because in the next year or two, I will, well, actually next year, I will need a starting goaltender, and I'm hoping it's Rodrigue, 
but I'm not holding my breath on that. So uh, we still have Freddie Anderson and Aiden Hill net starting out for us. Hopefully these guys can get the job done. All right, so let's uh, let's exit out here and let's go to sim to regular season so we can get this going. Wow, okay, that's that's just let's make a ball buster deal, huh? I don't want to trade Morgan Riley. Tara Vinen, no, I'm not, I, I don't even know why I entertained that for a minute. Oh, look, Jankowski wants to come back. Not really. Nope. Don't need you. Don't have room for you. Giovanni Smith, that's fine. Didn't take him out of the lineup. Man, the Montreal Canadiens want Morgan Riley. <laughs> uh, Vinny Hinostroza, okay, yep, keep going. And what we'll do is we'll sim the first month of the season. Ilya Petra, okay, I don't like the way this injury stuff's happening so far. Uh, let's yeah, we'll just go. Okay. Oh, another guy I need to show you real quick. Ilya Petrov, eighty-four overall. Uh, yeah, this guy is gonna. I feel like this guy's gonna have a monster year this year. This is another guy I think is just gonna be. I'm hoping that low elite becomes medium elite, maybe even franchise low. I mean, this guy is just from out of nowhere. Literally, he just he's jumped every single year by leaps and bounds. I mean, I drafted him in what twenty twenty one. So this is his third year kind of in our system, and he's already, you know, first line with Sorelli and Anderson just right up in the NHL. I love that. I love that. I love that. And we still have him under contract this year and next for his rookie salary of 950 k That's nice for right now. That's not going to be so nice in two years when i got to make that re-sign. But hopefully these guys can get the job done. We will see how it goes in our first game is going to be against a tough opponent at Nashville. So, as we do every year, let's get to uh, let's get to this day. How do we, how do our AHL squad do? Okay, we lost two to one. That's always a good way to start out. All right, so we're going to simulate our first two games. First road game of year four for the Seattle Kraken as we're on the road against Nashville, and we score. Dennis Chelowski, free agent signing. Oh, boo! Tolvin in power play goal. Boo! Boo, Predators. All right, 1-1 one, one, halfway, no, over halfway through the first period, and it looks like that's the way it's going to end. Nope, of course not. I set it up. You're welcome, Nashville. 2-1. Fabro scores with a minute 17 left to make it a 2-1 lead for the Predators. Second period underway. Power play. Wow, wow. Can we, can we get a power play, please? Okay, there's a power play. Can we score on it? Come on, we got a plus five chemistry on the power play. Come on. Where's my offense? I was expecting some goals this year. Come on. First game of the year. You mean to tell me Chelowski's going to be the only one that scores this year? At least in the first game? Oh, give up a shorty. Oh, come on. 3-1. Sam Bennett, I believe that's who that is. Power play? Oh, come on. Our power play cannot go that bad. We have a plus five chemistry on that power play. 4-1. Okay, this is just a game we're, we're just going to lose. Freddie Anderson, 5-1. Uh, this is horrible now. Uh, the wheels came off in the third period. 6-1, and thank God this game's over. Okay, let's quickly get out of that. That's not a good way to, to start the season at all. All right, let's get to the Anaheim game. Man, they are just non-stop with this. All right, let's see our AHL squad. Okay, they won. That's good. Maybe we can come back and win. This is a divisional opponent, too. This is a Pacific Division opponent at home. Come on, boys. Let's show them what we got. Let's show them something. Because they're, oh, my gosh. Come on. Penalty kill. Penalty kill has been awful through the first two games. Finally, a power play goal. Jo Anthony Duclair. All right, there we go. And they get it right back. Jo uh, is that Josh Evans? Uh, probably Josh Evans from Montreal. Uh, Freddie. Freddie, seriously? Freddie Anderson. What the hell? 87 overall goaltender. This is unacceptable. You've allowed like nine goals in four periods. Okay. This is Radonko. Zaka scores on Gibson. I'm going to go find me a goal if you can't stop the puck. Oh, come on, Freddy. Ah. Freddy's horrible. 
Freddie through two games. I am wanting to trade you already. Petrov, there we go. First line jumping in there. Oh, 6-4. Oh, my God. Freddie, stop a puck. Six goals on 21 shots. I'm going to bench you even if we come back and win. I mean, we're not, so I'm going to bench you anyway. So, I mean, Jesus, dude. Power play, nothing. I mean, Gibson allowed four, five on a shorthanded. Thank you, Paling. Appreciate that. Paling, I've seen you on the score sheet, dude. I've seen you on the score sheet. Okay, so uh, through two games, we've scored six goals and we've allowed 12. <laughs> wow. Well, I can take some solace. Last year, we started 11 wins. We started 11 and 0. 11 0 and 0. And we didn't make the playoffs. This year, we have completely shit the bed in the first two games. Maybe this year, we'll just light it up at the end and make the playoffs. Or not. <laughs> so, okay. That is... So, I can go to... I can go to here. So, let's go ahead and get through this. Okay, 6-3 win. 2-1 loss. Okay. Okay. Let's, uh... Yeah, y'all have a loss, right? Yeah, so I need to, I'll flip it over. I'll keep it over here. Boom, keep it over here. 4-3 shootout win. That's good. Good, good, good. All right, Aiden Hill's got a loss under his belt, so 3-2 win. 3-1 win. Pittsburgh, 3-2 loss. That's a tough loss. Okay, so both goalies are going to get swapped here. Damn, Atu Rati, six points in six games. Go get you some. That's what I want to see. I really would like to see your face-offs get better, but that's what I want to see. Okay, goalies, Rodrigue for Sogard. Yeah, the backup situation might hurt me in the long run, but, I mean, Aiden Hill's got a 905. Freddie Anderson's got a 15. Oh, my God. Oh, my gosh. Who? I got to look. I got to look. Okay, I got to look and see what's there. Okay, there's nothing starter material. Okay, that's what I wanted to make sure on. But uh, Anybody anybody looking to trade a goalie? <laughs> anybody, please? Because, oh my Jesus, that's some, some horrible, horrible stuff right there. Blues, Lightning. Okay, you got two, you got two elite level prospect goalies. Uh, I shudder to think what I'd have to give up for somebody like this. I mean, just for kicks and giggles. Find a trade. No trades found. Find a trade. No trades found. Okay, what about boys? No trades found. Find a trade. No trades found. Okay. Just thought I'd check. I mean, I don't have room anyway. It'd be an arm and a leg. Yeah, nobody's going to trade a goalie, are they? Reimer. <clears throat> Excuse me. Sorry. Couldn't mute it in time. All right. Carolina, Chicago, Colorado, Columbus. Somebody's looking to trade a goalie, so I may just have to... Uh... Oh. Yip and Lennox, not good enough. Riddick and Rene. Pekka Rene is still in the league? My goodness gracious, that's redonkulous. He retired in real life, guys. It's okay. You can let him go. Oh, Shesterkin. <laughs> oh, Shesterkin, but he signed for $7 million for seven years. I don't really want that. Pittsburgh, San Jose. Okay, so nobody. Shesterkin's the only guy, and I don't know if I'd want to trade for that. So, yeah, we're just going to have to deal. Freddie's just going to have to snap out of it. That's just all there is to it. Freddie's just going to have to snap out of it. Freddie's going to have to play better. My God. Holy crap. Oh, uh, Dumbus. No, I'm not trading goal. I'm not trading defensemen. I want to speak about ice time concerns. What are you talking about ice time concerns? Uh, you're only playing 15 minutes a night? I'm going to persuade you. Okay. You know what? I'll, I'll give you more minutes. We're gonna we're gonna cancel here. Yep. Okay. So our captain is pissed that he's not playing enough ice time. Okay. Well, let's fix that problem. Oh gosh. Seriously? 
I'm working on it. Sure, I'll, yeah. Okay, good. So I got, I talked him down. I talked him down off the ledge, but I didn't talk Duclair down off the ledge. Okay, so apparently, uh, oh, come on, guys. I'm trying to get you last time. Calm down. I'm working on it. Okay, so, oh, I bet you I know what it is. Uh, it's this right here. Okay, so I'll tell you what we'll do. We'll keep this line together, but we'll give you guys the ice time. How's that? We'll bump every... There we go. Is that fair? Okay, four-man power play. Declare. I'll move Nylander up there. I'll move Zaka up there. There we go. That's perfect. So Declare and Nylander, so your first line there... I'm not putting you on the penalty kill also, so you just deal. Uh, and I'm not moving you up a line because that's that's not conducive to, that doesn't work for this whole team. So you're just going to have to deal with second line ice time. And I moved you up on the power play. It's the best I can do. Get some power plays. Draw some penalties. <laughs> that's all I can do. I moved you up to, I moved you up back up to the first line power play. All right, so we have one against Calgary, and then we just get obliterated by them. Oh, my gosh. Freddie Anderson, come on, dude. Four goals and a win. That's not exactly inciting a lot of confidence in me. I want to speak. Oh, gosh, what's wrong with you now? What's with all this talk about now? What What's the deal? Look. Okay. There. I'll work to make it good for you. Okay, so last year was the year of injuries. This year is the year of morale crap. Okay. <laughs> Just. My God. How are you? Well, okay. I can see why you're upset about. Okay, so now the thought process becomes. Do I do I move for chemistry? Do I move and cause some chemistry issues but give these guys more ice time because they are I mean Nylander's killing it right now. Sorelli, Petrov. You know what? I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna flip these guys. I'm gonna take I'm gonna take the chemistry bump to give these guys a chance on the first line. I don't like that because I these guys kind of suffer as a result. But I'm gonna I'm gonna do that for you guys to try and make you happy. But we're gonna see what happens. Also, we're what ten games in? Is that right? Ten games? How's Blake Wheeler doing on that third line? Two goals, one. Oh my gosh! Seriously, come on. Where's my James Neal action, man? That's what I miss. I miss James Neal. <laughs> All right, uh, seven nothing win. How are we doing the AHL? Six three and one. Okay, so we can go to here. Let's go to here. Let's go through two months of the season. There you go. Thank you. You're welcome. Yep. Glad I can help you out. Now do me a favor and score some damn goals. Seven five win. You've got to be kidding, Freddie. Freddie, your job is goalie. Stop the damn puck, dude. Yep, you're welcome. No problem. Glad you're happy. Yep, cool. Cool, cool. Okay, blah, blah, yakety smaggity. There. You guys are happy now. All right. And, okay, so Burnaby's back on track a little bit. The wheels are shaky in Seattle, though. Man, we are not getting the goalie play. We are not getting the goalie play. 87 overall goalies just absolutely shit in the bed on us. 856. That is ridiculous. Aiden Hill impressed me. <laughs> Aiden Hill impressed me. That's all that's all I'm gonna say. Aiden Hill impressed me. Because all I need is for you to go on a little bit of a hot streak and I'll leave you I'll leave your ass in. No, I don't want that. Okay. 3 2 loss. Okay, so we need to swap goalies in the AHL. Swab goalies in the AHO. Yep, yep, yep. Da, 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 da. Okay. One of you needs to run away with this goalie competition. I thought Freddie Anderson would run away with this goalie competition, but apparently it's Aiden Hill's job to lose. All right, so I can go two games for each 
So one, two, yeah, we can go to here. Try and get two months of the season in. Shootout win. How is Aiden Hill out playing Freddie Anderson? Seriously? That's ridiculous. I'm about ready to just trade Freddie Anderson and just uh, run with Aiden Hill and one of the guys from the AHL and just play with it. Oh, my gosh. What are we at here? 8-5. Okay, so they got one more loss in the book, so I can go here. I can go to here. Okay. Glenn Gaughan's been injured with a mild concussion. Okay. Okay. Fourth liner. That's not a hor that's not it's not the worst thing in the world. Substituting all lines. Brooks. Uh PK. Brook okay, Brooks is actually really good for the PK. That's nice. Okay. Good deal. All right. Andrew Peak. Okay, that's that's Burnaby. That's Burnaby. That's defense and Burnaby. Okay. Uh Curry. Yeah, we'll put Curry in. Best best man up here. Washington is placing Tobias Geiser on waivers. Well, who is Tobias Geiser? 24 years old, defensive defenseman. No idea where he fits, but he's defensive, so that's something, but I'll decline. Okay, shootout loss, but I'm okay with that. Okay, we'll jump here. Okay, so we need to so let's go one more game and see if we need to no, we won't need to replace. So we'll go ahead and swap guys now. Nylander's tearing it up. He is ridiculous right now. Goalies AHL. And swap them too. 909 save percentage, 888. So Rodriguez is actually outplaying Sogard right now in the AHL. Uh, and Aiden Hill has no business outplaying Freddie Anderson, but he is right now in the NHL. Um, I really shouldn't. I mean, I shouldn't touch this line right now. I mean, these you guys are working. I mean, Duclair has become more of a passer now, which I don't care for that much. Blake Wheeler. Okay, Blake Wheeler's starting to turn it on for goals. Is Paling kind of the weak link? Maybe Paling's the weak link. Um, hmm. Giovanni Smith? No, I don't want to move him up. Brooks? Brooks is going to be out in a little bit anyway. Noel Achardi would actually be better on in the top six. So let's do this. Let's do this. Let's do this. Let's do this. Noel Lachardi will move up to the third line with Hina Stroza and Wheeler. Yeah, for right now. Paling, I'm going to demote you just because you're not really. Eh, I don't know. You're not really. You're doing well on the PK, but yeah, we need to we need to shake up that bottom six and get Blake Wheeler going because if Blake Wheeler gets going, that's some that's some death goal scoring for us. All right, so now I can go one, one, two, two. Yep, I can go to here. So boom. Uh, Glenn Gordon is fully available and ready to play. Good deal. All right, Glenn Gordon, get right back in the saddle, buddy. And how is that special teams PK? Wow, Brooks is actually better than Gordon for the PK. Okay. Paling a charty. Gordon. Gordon still gives us a plus one though. I'd rather I'll keep Gordon out there. Shootout loss for us in the NHL. Sogard has been injured. Okay, that's actually not bad. That's AHL. AHL goalies I can live with. That's fine. Okay, so Rodriguez is going to go back in. Niemi is going to become the backup. Okay. Now the question is, uh, he lost. Okay, whatever. Uh, okay, so loss. So we go two more games. 10-7-2 and two isn't terrible. It's not great. Andrew Peak is fully healed. That's good. That's good. We haven't been hit with the injury bug near as much knock on wood. Okay. 4-3 loss, of course. Uh, and we won there. So let's go one more game and see if we need to swap both goalies or just one. I'm not trading Stetcher. I don't know why he's on the trade block. 12-7-2. Yeah. Rodriguez, I think, is the guy. Rodriguez is the guy. At least in the AHL, he's the guy. He's been He's been playing well. So, goalies. Is it NHL I got to flip? Hold on. Yep. Oh, shoot. Really? Is it it's NHL I got to flip? Hold on. 9, 10. 
Oh, Freddy, you are running out of opportunity, sir. You are running out of opportunities. I'm just telling you. I'm about ready to just run with Aiden Hill. Like, Aiden Hill's got six of our ten wins. And he's played better. So, I need, I need to see something from you, Freddy. Did I need to flip? No, I didn't need to flip the AHL, but I can go to here. All right. Four, three, shootout loss. I'm sorry. Dude, it's not your fault. It's Freddie Anderson. It's Freddie Anderson. I promise. Oh, man. I hate whenever I have to do this. I mean, 8-1 loss. Oh, my. That's not... I mean, yeah, scoring one goal sucks, but... When your goalie allows eight, I mean, how is that your how is that offense's fault? That's good. We might have a good pick, especially the way we're playing right now. Overtime loss again. Oh gosh, can we five two dub? Okay, well, finally Freddie Anderson shows up and plays a little good. Jesus, five three loss. Oh my. I'm about ready to go look at Chesterkin. I'm I'm not even playing. Like for an 87 overall, I'm paying eight million dollars to. I'm about ready to just trade his ass for like a seventh round pick and be done with it because he's playing god awful. I mean, Aiden Hill's got the same people in front of him. Aiden Hill's got the same people in front of him. He's got a at least a a passable save percentage. Is it great? I mean, it's average. But. You know what? Let's let's pause here for a second. We're what twenty six minutes into recording here. Jet Wu's been injured with a mild concussion. Oh, lovely. Okay. Um. Let's go Johnson. Let's go Johnson. Boom. Extras. Extra attacker. Extra attacker was was Jet Wu. Seriously? Why? What star you Harvey got? Da 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 da. He's got good speed. I'm gonna, put, I'm gonna put Nybeck out there as the extra attacker. Okay. Let's look at uh let's look at our stats. Let's look at team stats. Let's see if there's other than the obvious, which is we suck at keeping the puck out of the net, which is unacceptable for an 87 damn overall goaltender. What else I mean, we've scored 84 and we've allowed 86. I mean that what the hell? Our power play's got near 30%. Our power play is fucking electric. Our PK isn't great. It's right it's near there. It's our 5 on 5 is god awful. God awful. Both defensively, I mean, deep I mean we're scoring goals but we're allowing too many. I'm going to flip these lines back. I need I need you guys to play a little bit better. I mean, y'all are scoring. I mean, Nylander's killing it. Nylander's destroying folks. Wheeler. Wheeler's getting up there a little bit. Hinostroza's starting to get into the groove. Uh, I think I'm going to swap that back and put Paling back up there and see if maybe that was a kick in the teeth. Uh, yeah. I'm going to flip stuff back. You know what? Hold on. Uh... Goal, goalie's matching the block. Go to the Rangers. Rangers, what do you want? What do you want for Pavel, Pavel Zaka? I'm not trading Pavel Zaka. You better. That's it. That's all you're taking is Pavel Zaka or bust. Well, then bust because I'll just. I'm not trading Pavel Zaka. That's not happening. All right. You guys need to come with some reasonable stuff. I'm not trading a first round pick at this point either because it's going to be a high first round pick. So, uh all right, so we're 11 10. Actually, we need to swap out Freddy, don't we? We do. Freddy's in there. Freddy needs to go. Oh, we did swap already. Okay. I tell you what, not, uh, Sargard or Sogard has been out for a while in the AHL, so let's go. All right, let's go to here. See where we're at. 1 0 loss. I mean,. And then we lose our first line sniper. Scratched. Let's go ahead and put Trennan in there. And extras. 
three on three. Put Trennan in there too. Not because he's a good player, but just because it's easiest to replace him whenever whenever Petrov comes back in a month. Okay. Uh, who's eligible to be dressed? Let me look at the scratch players here. Scratched. Sogard's not coming back in. Jet Wu is. So Johnson out. Wu in. Wu in. Thank you. Okay. Oh, man. This team. Whew. It's like, what do you do? I mean, okay. Well, goalies need to swap in the AHL. Uh, da -ba -ba, goalies. Is Sogard able to? No, he's still he still got that little tack on him. So I'm gonna flip Niemi in there and let Niemi play for a spell before I bring Sogard back. All right. So that does it for the NHL or AHL the NHL. Let's do this. I tell you what, Nylander's been a hell of a good signing. He is killing it on this team as far as points go. But Jesus, I shouldn't have to do that. Oh man. Uh, I'm gonna continue. I'm gonna just let him sit for a minute. Cause yeah, I mean the other guy's playing well, so I'm gonna let him. I'm gonna let him stay. Uh, Alexander Alexiev. Top six D. No, nah, I don't need that. I don't need that. Washington can play around with their their stuff. Yeah, I mean, hell, let the run with the kid. I mean, Sogard's just going to sit on the bench for a little while. Third goalie. Uh, meanwhile, Freddie Anderson has again chewed the bed. So let's swap out goalies. Oh, no. that Okay. Aiden Hill was in. Oh, that's not good then. <laughs> oh, dear. That means Aiden Hill's starting to crap, uh, shit the bed now. Oh, no. No, 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 no. I need one of you to play decent. Come on now. I can't have year one goaltending again in year four. Okay? We've got to get some goaltending. From one of you. One of you's got to step up. Man. I'm, I'm telling you. I'm, a, I'm about to the point. I'm about to the point where I'm going to call up. I'm going to call up Rodriguez. <laughs> I'm about ready to just hand in the reins and say, here, go go play. Because this is just, this is ridiculous. Or at least move him up to a backup role in the NHL. Or maybe take Sogard and move him up here. But something's something's got to change. This is, this is ridiculous. I mean, Rodrigue actually has earned at least a little bit of a, a cup of coffee with us. But, I mean, this is just this is just ridiculous. It's ridiculous to have this bad a goaltending. 87 overall goalie, and you can't defend any better than that. My goodness gracious. Sarja Harvey's out with a pulled groin. Okay, well, we can't keep our top two healthy, but that's okay. Uh, let's go to, let's not go defensive defenseman. Let's go two-way defender. Miles Curry, get in there, buddy. Uh, I think you you don't damn well say. Really? I would never have guessed. Coach Sheldon Rawlings with an astute observation. <laughs> okay, yeah, I agree. What are you thinking? We need an upgrade to our defenseman? No, I don't think we need... I think we need a goalie. I'm going to disagree with you, coach. I'm going to disagree with you. I'm going to make you mad. I think our goaltending is absolutely abysmal. But I tell you what, let's see if the coach is right. Let's see if the coach is right, because we did look at points earlier. We're 31 games into the season. Who's our leading goal scorer? William Nylander, Sorelli, Petrov, Duclair all have 10-plus goals. Nylander has a ridiculous amount of assists. 18 assists for Duclair. So, I mean, 
Nylander is everything we signed him for and then some. So this guy is not the problem. Okay, but let's look at our defensemen. So let's see. Holy Jesus, look at that. Look at that second line pairing. Oh my God. Okay. So maybe Coach was right. Maybe Coach was right. Okay. Let's view contracts here. We're at 35 minutes. We're in crisis mode now. All right. Do I bring Steven Johns and sit Logan Stanley for a while? Does that help? First off, does that help? I think Logan Stanley needs to go. Logan Stanley needs to go. Like, I need to find... Let me see what's what I can get for Logan Stanley, which probably won't be a whole lot. Uh, find a trade. Fisher. Okay, I don't want to deal with Carolina. Carolina ripped me off. Oh, <laughs> uh, let's see. Zach Cassian. I don't. I don't feel like I need forward help. I need defenseman help, but I don't think I'm gonna get defenseman from a trade of a defenseman unless it's a prospect. So like guy like this. Petrovich, Laleem. I wouldn't mind picks at this point. I wouldn't mind picks at this point. I've dealt with the Rangers. Oh, shit, I'm about ready to take that deal. Honestly, I'm not even. I'm not even playing. Like I'm about ready to take this deal. He's got a 9.32 sabers in six games played. Okay, so that. Let's let's temper that a little bit. But he's got a 932 save percentage in six games played. He had a 925 last year. Yeah, I'm doing that. I'm doing that. Go to roster moves. For right now, we're actually I okay, I have 19 skate oh, because Petrov's out. Edit line. No, not best line. Son of a biscuit. Now I've got to go in and fix all that crap. Damn it to hell. Ah, uh, That sucks. Hold on a second. Power of video editing, so to speak. Okay. So in the meantime, while I paused and didn't record that, I edited all my lines to put them back the way they were. That was a pain in the booty. Minus, obviously, Steven Johns is currently in the lineup. Our depth defenseman is currently in our top four. We got to fix that. So we need to go find something. We're going to go find a trade. We're going to go find a trade partner. Skaters matching the block. We need a defenseman. We need a defenseman. Now I'm looking for overalls. Uh, nope. I'm looking for overalls that are higher than that. And hopefully I don't get gouged because yeah, I am stuck now. Oh, wait a minute. No, I'm not. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. There is something I can do. There is something I can do. Just dawned on me. I don't need... Oh, he's hurt. Son of a biscuit. <laughs> I was going to call him up, too. I was like, oh, look, I got this. He's his top six. He wants to be top six. Uh, Jet Wu is a depth defenseman. I don't want to call him up, though. Oh, okay. So, yeah. I think what we're going to do is we're not going to trade for anybody. Oh, gosh. This is going to be painful. We're not going to trade for anybody. Sarja Harvey, once he comes back, will move to the NHL squad. Steven Johns will play up here as long as I need him to. He will play in that top four right now with Jake Bean. Hopefully the plus minus goes down for Jake Bean and goes back towards zero. It is currently a minus 15. So, yeah, I'm sorry, Sheldon Rawlings. You were right. The second defensive pairing was god-awful. I'm sorry. I didn't realize that. I should have looked. Okay. So, 13, 13, and 5. What's our AHL squad? 9. So, we got one more game. So, we can play to here. Uh, the Toronto Maple Leafs have fired head coach Marcel Biega. We're not going to fire a coach, but we got to play. We got to get some better defense. Oh, you know what? I have three goalies now. Oh, crap. I traded for a goalie, too. Oh, no. Okay, goalies. Uh, let's put Rodriguez in. Let's sit Sogard and Riddick is in the AHL. Okay. So, let's stop here for a second because I did forget about I forgot about Riddick. I forgot about Riddick. 
right now, I think I could actually, I can pull up Riddick. So what I want to do right now is I'm calling up Riddick right now to the NHL. And I'm going to go into edit lines. Who is currently starting in net for me? Freddie Anderson. Freddie Anderson is benched. He's done. 856 save percentage. I'm done playing games with him. Riddick, get in there. Okay. Now, <laughs> here we go. We're going to keep Freddie Anderson on the bench until we get to a point where we have to move him down or trade him. So I need to look at the injury report because we have to deal him before the injury hits. So you're due back December 30th. What day is it now? It is December 24th. Okay, our next game is December 24th. It's December 20th. All right, in this time frame where we have a gap, we need to find a partner for Freddie Anderson. We need to we need to find whatever we have to do to get rid of Freddie Anderson right now has to be done. And yes, our cap is going to take a hit. We might have to we might have to trade for an equally bad contract. Find a trade. Okay, it's picks only. Find a trade with an open block. Nemeth would give us a, uh, a, a defenseman. Sherratt would give us a defenseman. Merrill. Okay, I like the money there with Merrill. He's a left-handed shot, though. What about Nemeth or Sherratt? I'm, I'm willing to take him on at this point just because I need, I need cap. He's a left-handed shot. Fits in all defensive pairings. What about the other guy that was on there? Nemeth, I think. They're willing to trade Ryan Ellis. I'd have to give up an arm and a leg for Ryan Ellis, though. Ryan Ellis is a right-handed two-way defenseman. Top four and penalty kill. All right, I tell you what. Let's let's do something. Let's let's do something magical here. I'm gonna take these two out. I'm gonna I'm, I want Ryan Ellis. What do I have to do for Ryan Ellis? That includes Freddie Anderson. Okay, they don't want a first round pick. They don't want first round picks. Okay, so they want skaters. I'm not trading Nylander. I'm not trading Z uh, Duclair. I'm not trading Zaka. I'm not trading Sorelli. I'm not trading Anderson. I'm not trading Hinostroza. I could trade Nybeck, but I just got him. Uh, golly. I could trade some of these prospect defensemen I have that aren't under contract. I don't want to trade Sayo. I'd be willing to trade Rahala and McElraith. Or one or the other. Defensive defenseman. McElraith is a defensive defense. So one of those two could go. 6'3", 11 6'4", Yeah, I'll trade McElraith. I still got a ways to go. Um, what about a pick? You want picks. You just don't want first round picks. What if I gave you a 2025 second? This is a big trade. This is a big trade. The reason I'm doing it, though, is partly because, well, Nashville wants to trade him. They're in the same boat we are as basically being kind of floating around 500. They want Anderson at 8 mil, but I need to get a contract back, and that's the only contract they have that I can get back. I don't like the term, but I need the, I need the money back. I give them a prospect defenseman, a second-round pick in next year's draft, not this year's because I think I'm going to stink this year. Um, and maybe let's see if this goes through. If it doesn't, what it probably won't. Looking at the, it, it won't. So let's add in uh, another piece. Can I give you third? Probably won't be enough, honestly. Um, let's try it with the second. If we if we need to add the third, we will. Okay. So yeah, we're not we're not close yet. Okay. Let's go draft pick. Let's. See. How about if I add? How about if I add a third from? Ooh, Buffalo is rated a little higher. Is Buffalo worse than I am? Well, I'll give you a third from this year's. What about that? Too far off. I really don't want to give up two seconds. But I feel like that's where I'm going to end up being, and then I'm going to need to get back. Trade me a third. Send me a third and Ryan Ellis. I give you two seconds, one in this year's, one in next year's. 
I'll have three thirds for this year that I can maybe use to get back in the second round. I give you a prospect defenseman that I'm okay losing. And I give you Freddie Anderson that I'm wanting to give away for a song and a damn dance. Will that go through? I feel like that should go through. I'm worried that that's going to be a fleece job on their part. So let me toss in one, like a sixth. If that's too much, I'll take the sixth off. Maybe make it a seventh. If that doesn't work, I'll just make it a third. Okay, so no. That deal looks really close. Okay, so how about this? Would you take this? Will this go through? Still not going through with two. Man, Jesus. Okay, I'll take the third off. Make it a fourth. Will you do that? No. Oh, man. I really want to get a pick back for this. I don't want to give up two seconds for nothing. I'm giving up three prospects. I'd like at least something back other than Ryan Ellis. I'm going to have to do this, aren't I? Is this going to even go through? Still not going through with two seconds, McElwraith and Anderson. You've got to be kidding me. Come on, Nashville. Play ball here. I'll give you Buffalo's third. That's the only asset I have left that's worth anything. So is that going to go through? Okay. Jeez. Oh, I got fleeced on that one. I know I got fleeced on that one. But I did pick up a defenseman. Ryan Ellis is a member of the the Seattle Kraken. Oh, that's ugh, that's rough. That is rough. Um. I, I'm, I'm okay with the pickup. I am okay with the pickup, but it's just, man, that's a that was a lot to give up for Ryan Ellis. Uh, and Ryan Ellis can play penalty kill, so definitely uh, I want to make his money. On, okay, he's on the PK already. Uh, so I'm going to put him on first line PK. Dunlap can play second line with Stetcher and Paling and Sorelli. And then Ellis can play first line with Dumba, Stetcher, yeah, Dumba. Dumba can move down a little bit. He's playing first line ice time. He just not. He doesn't have any uh, power play or PK time. And if he whines about it, I'll I'll put him in on the PK. Um, which I mean, I should probably over Stetcher. Yeah, let, let's let's take let's put Dumba. Is wait before I do that. Dumba's already in. Never mind. Dumba's in there. Dumb is in there, so I can't really replace him per se. I can maybe put, I don't want to, no, no, we'll leave it like this. We'll leave it like this. So, all right, so we've gotten rid of the cancer known as Freddie Anderson. And we've got David Riddick, who I traded for him because of not, not just the fact that he's got 932, but only in six games played. But I looked, 24 games played last year. 925 save percentage for Minnesota. And then in the AHL, he had a 915 save percentage. Toronto, he had a 912 save percentage three years ago. So he's played well in net, even though he's listed as a backup goalie. So I'm just hoping, 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 hoping he can maybe keep that magic of 932 going. Even if he drops like a 920 or 915, I'd be, I'd be worlds better than what I was getting. So Freddie Anderson's gone. His $8 million contract is gone. Unfortunately, we basically traded that for a longer-term deal and a $6.25 million deal in Ryan Ellis for three years. So we've bolstered our defense. Uh, we've lowered our goaltending. And, yeah, we are we're basically now we're, we're all in now. <laughs> we, are, whew, we traded an arm and a leg for Ryan Ellis. Three, basically four prospects, essentially. Four good prospects. Uh, over the next two years. two We got a second gone from this year. We got a third from Buffalo gone this year. That was in the uh, the deal that we traded. Uh, I believe that was in the Ingball deal, was it not? Maybe. May have been. May have not been, but I think that was the deal. But anyway, we traded Buffalo's third this upcoming year, and then we traded a second in the year after for Ryan Ellis. So we, we gave up a lot of assets for Ryan Ellis. So, Man, I hope that doesn't come back to bite us in the booty. Uh, and meanwhile, I need to look at the AHL goalie situation and make sure that it should be... Uh, right, Rodriguez should be in right now. Yeah, Rodriguez should be in. 
because we had to flip it because of uh, injuries to Sogard. We had to flip it. So, uh, yeah, that's right. So we're going to play through to basically the end of the year and see where we're at. And uh, we'll, we'll, we'll see where we're at. We're another long video. My gosh. I need to trim these down, man. They used, they were so nice when they were like 30, 35 minutes. Now I'm getting to 50 minutes because I'm having to make all these deals uh, while I'm playing. So, uh, But you're getting to see all the wonderful headaches I go through. <laughs> so uh, maybe it's entertaining. I don't know. We need to go to here. Anaheim and Colorado. These are huge games. We've got to win some of these games. No, I'm not trading Matt Dumba. 3 nothing loss. You've got to be kidding me, team. Come on. Oh, you got to be kidding me. Gotta be kidding me. Man, man, man. All right. Aiden Hill, get in there. 3 nothing. Jeez. We've got to. We've got to do something. We've got to start winning some games, guys. Sorry, Harvey's fully healed. Okay. Well, that's our AHL squad. Okay. Mark Curry out. Whatever his name is. Sawyer Harvey in. Okay, boom and boom. 6-5 overtime win, 4 nothing loss. Oh, my God. And then Ilya Petrov is back. Thank Jesus for Ilya Petrov. We need him back in the lineup. Bad. We need some scoring. All right, so we're going to get to the end of the month. We're going to get to the new year, probably. <laughs> Hopefully. <laughs> I mean, this is... Woof. We're in rough straits here. Atu Rati's injured. Great, because that's just what we needed. More injuries. Burns, get in there. Substituting all lines. I don't even care. Let's go. 2 nothing win. Okay, Aiden Hill with the shutout. That's nice. And 3 nothing loss means I need to swap goalies in the AHL. This could be a down year for us, boys. It's not looking promising in the NHL. And the AHL squad is not playing they're not struggling but they're not playing near as well as they did last year but they got knocked out in the first round last year so maybe i should be thankful they're not playing as good as they did last year they're lowering the expectations a little bit all right so can we get a dub to end the game off yes four two okay so aiden hill aiden hill my gosh seriously all right so we are about halfway through are we not yeah 37 so close to halfway through let's take a look see at our team because i know what our weaknesses are well, down here at the bottom, um, and we are well back of the Anaheim Ducks. My gosh, we are 11 points back. We're we're just allowing too many goals, period. Our power play is excellent. Our penalty kill is good enough. I mean, it's right at 80%. If it stays there, I'm okay with 80% uh, PK. It is literally our five-on-five -five goals. That is what is killing us right now. I'm hoping that Ryan Ellis helps with that. Let's take a look at the forward core. Duclair and Nylander are tied for goal scoring lead on the team. Sorelli, Petrov, Acharty, Anderson, Zaka. Wheeler's there with eight points, but that's not as much as I was hoping he would get in this year. So that might be a move on year. Uh, Nylander with 28 assists. So Nylander's been as, as advertised. Nylander has been the man for us. What a signing. Great signing at 10.25 over four years. That's been a good signing for us. That was a guy that we stole from another couple other teams, and I'm okay with that now. Jake Bean. Oh, man, Jake Bean. Two goals is not acceptable, but the eight, the 16 assists is good. Uh, the minus 17, not so good. Ryan Ellis, how are you doing? Wait, no, I don't want to trade for asset. I wanted to look at his years. I wanted to look at his five games played, two assists, minus one. So, uh, is Jake Bean the problem? Uh, Jake Bean might be the problem. So let's do this real quick. Let's go in the let's go and cry now because I have a feeling when I go look at this, I'm gonna be angry. Columbus. Is this where we traded St. Gothosphere? No, it's not. Was it no, it's not Columbus. It's uh uh uh, uh 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 Carolina. I was like, oh, I'm losing the name. Okay, so I don't feel as bad because yeah, he's not having a good year on the Carolina Hurricanes either. But, yeah, okay, so defense, that second defensive pairing is kind of weak. Do I shake it up and move, uh, weirdly enough, move Jake Bean up to the first defensive pairing? Maybe that's a kick in the teeth. I don't know why I would do that, but maybe so. Okay, Aiden Hill, David Riddick actually in that one game, even though 
I mean, he's still got 927 save percentage. Why is it? Okay, that's weird. It's showing different here than it was there. Okay. So, I mean, he didn't fall much. So, he made a couple of, he made some saves. Okay. So, maybe Riddick's the answer. Maybe Riddick's the answer. But uh, our net mining has been horrible. Uh, we definitely, definitely, definitely are struggling. And we are well back. We're well back in our division. Let me put it that way. But we are, I mean, we still got some player. we get, still got some teams to jump, but we're within striking distance of a wild card spot. We are five points back of a wild card spot at the halfway point. And if we can turn on our scoring and stop some pucks, I think we can get this under control. That's a big if, though. <laughs> so, um, yeah, I think this is where I'm going to stop the video here. Um, if you like what you're watching, give us a like. Uh, or give me a like, I should say. Uh, if you really like it, give a subscribe to myself and or to Grown Folks, the other channel I host this series on. Uh, comments and feedback are always welcome. And until next time, guys, I will catch you later.